around. Cash is a bit injured. Mm -hmm. Not a bit. She's a Do, lot. Does Cash want healing? Yes. Sigh. <laughs> Less sigh. How much does she want healing? Uh, all of it. Well, that's, it... that's that is an answer. You might. You really gonna blow heal this? Mm. I mean, she she is pretty hurt. Is she level drained or anything? No. no. Right remember, now she's. Remember she's... when I was chased by a Lin? Uh, a yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, that's right. Oh and it right. Hit me? Uh, mm -hmm. I reach, reach rod, point straight down, fire, heal spell. <laughs> fire. fire! The heal spell. Oh. <laughs> Firestorm. How much is that? Is hundred and twenty or something? And then we get one hundred and sixty. Fifty. Fifty. Caps. You're level sixteen. It's caps, doesn't it? Oh, it's caps. Heals caps, really? Mm, I'm pretty sure he'll no. caps. Mm. I'm pretty I don't sure. think it is. I don't, well, I don't check. I'm it doesn't well, really I'm matter for this. Fully, so. fully healed, no matter what. You are never felt as good as you do right now. To a maximum of one hundred and fifty points. Yeah. About to say, I thought it was capped. I'll attack, Kyron. Telemandus is he's known. This the artist is formerly known as Telemandus. Attack this guy. I, I like how it's basically just a flying hill tower. I don't like how, by the way, how we're fight, 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 like fighting over the pit. It's not a pit; it's an entrance. It's a hit for nineteen. Well, we're just, I'm just expecting the little head. Will save. Against, yeah, I don't uh, want the one arm to come out. Palamondas, you say? Should be a 31. He still has to smash his way course. through the ice if he wants to get out. I don't think it's big enough for him at the moment. Well, maybe it is, actually. Do you have another wall of force you can just stick over that? I do, actually, yes. You can't... We have to go vertical, not horizontal, though, doesn't it? Uh, the, the hole is quite small. Cash. Just stick a pillar of force in the middle? Yeah. <laughs> She's invisible. Yep, she is. Uh, that is then a potential hit. There's like a fifty percent mischance. Mm -hmm. oh. Fifty or below, that's a miss. Yeah. Uh, this one will try that as well. Uh, she has plus two to her AC, by the way. Potential hit. Oh, I forgot to take the plus two to AC as well. I, I wrote it in my label this that she has plus two to this AC. Time try to do it defensively. It's a much better idea. It's all over here. Something's going on with that guy. Hello, friend. Oh, yes. Uh, yes. Well, um, I can't try banishment, but I think they're kind of healthy. I mean, banishment is more a will save. Maybe. Banishment is a will save, yes. Uh, why not? Let's try banish. Do it on one of the ones next to me because of the save penalty. The thing is, I can I can target a whole bunch of them with banish. That's can true. you? Uh, yes, I can target... Yeah, two hit dice per, per cast level. Yeah, so 32 hit die. Um, Manico would just have to say how many of those end up getting targeted. Yeah, exactly. Hey, so How many do you do? Uh, up to 32 hit die. So you you point uh, out the first. Two. I can two. get two. Okay. Oh. That's uh, very unfortunate. I will target. I'll these target two. these yeah. two. They both get will saves of a minus right. something. A minus two from me. Yep. Will save. The DC is twenty-seven. Basically twenty-nine. Yeah. Yeah. Right. What's the effect? Uh, if they it's fail, the they are banished forever. Just gone. They cannot re-enter this plane ever again. Goodbye. The just opens a gate and throws now, I'll them just into walk oblivion. Next to them, and you do that a lot. Flurry. Float over here. Um, you feel I healthier. Yeah, but I don't want to get all the spiky stuff in me anymore. Um, when I, she's invisible, does she, uh, can she cast spell without problems? Yes. Yeah, I think. Yeah, but so they can't. They can't tell when she's casting spells, so they can't. Okay, uh, she's gonna cast fluid form. So she now, she now she's a gelatinous ooze. She is. She's made a mixture of uh, water and oil. That sounds weird, probably. Yeah. Uh, and run into the reverse crowd. <laughs> yeah, I, f I think I'm standing just fine. 
Yeah. You probably shouldn't stay there because right. you're still in reach to be like get the points. Well, yeah, but you know, I can move down. I have ten reach now, so I can reach that one. That's certainly true. If you just right. want to attack over them, Marcus. Uh, I have a question, actually. Um, since okay, so for banishment, it says if you present something they hate, like like silver, for example, for devils, um, it gives a plus two on the DC. My unholy symbol is made of silver. However, since it's an unholy symbol, do they really they, care? They, they don't. They don't really care about. It. I mean, they yeah. they they lord you for your dedication to Asmodeus. But... <laughs> right. Well, I was just wondering because since it's silver, if we could increase the DC. Of no, it. They do, they don't hate silver. These guys. Oh, okay. really yes. Yes. Good job. Well die. So I. So do I have any holy water on me? Probably well, not. Fifteen footstep here. I have unholy water. With the boots. Just discovered something funny. The shaken condition changes the way it writes resistances. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. It's like ten slash acid, for example, and then turns into acid and then parenthesis ten. <laughs> Interesting. So I don't know. Well, you start to step oh. well, you do your yeah, long do five the, step. Do the yeah, jaunt step and then John to step. We're gonna attack number one. All right. Remember that John step is to bring him immediately from normal gravity to reverse gravity. Like, yeah. Uh, oh man, that's gotta be right weird. It's head. like all my blood. Well, I mean, if I could feel my Fall blood automatically, you know, it's just like whoops. smacking your face into the ground. <laughs> While attacking, that must look yeah. pretty weird. Oh, well, that's good. There's so flip. many numbers. Oh, hang on a second. Telephone. I believe you can, though, it, like against vampires, actually present your holy symbol as a full round action and make him not move closer to you. You can. Oh. He's like, oh, he's stunned. He can't, he can't move because there's on holy symbol. You, you can't permanently stun lock them. No. <laughs> well, I mean, you have to stand there as well. But he can flee, I believe. Okay, sorry. What are you attacking? Damage. Uh, number I, one damage. Number one damage. Yeah. Three attacks. Yeah, three, three hits. Um, yeah, if, right. if he dies from the first two, then the third one goes on eight. How much damage are the first two? The verge with 53. 53, don't do it. Uh, 84? Or the second first, one's a crit. The first, oh, the second You're, one's a crit, yeah. right. Right, yeah, the, he's dead. Done. Yeah, okay, and then in that case, then oh, more. Geez. Last one is 60. The last yeah. one that hit. On number eight. And you want 60 on number 8, you say. And then that's uh, three sources of spice on my face. Yep. Sure is. This, this shaken condition is really weird because apparently it increases touch AC and decreases flat for it. What? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, what? No. Who knows? Uh, yeah, I don't know. Well... Still waiting for that Linon to just appear next to us. He can. Technically, at this point, the um, wall would have gone. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, please cast another wall. I need to know where there's actually coming. He's going to waste right. my good wall. Okay, let's. Do the attack. prismatic one, so he gets, like, insanity to buy. Well, let's attack number four first and then do the whole overflow damage. I am flanking four, but I won't be flanking the other one, so I'm not going to press that button. You know, knowing Java, I would be very cautious saying the word overflow. Yeah, it does, <laughs> does oh God, 46... That's a good amount of hits. Yeah, does 46 go? Uh, number four... Also, those yes. crits are actually crits. Yeah, it does. This is amazing. Uh, then I'm going to attack number two right north of me. Uh, 35, that is a crit. That is also a crit. I got a double 20 there. God damn it. 242. How many sources? That is six sources. Crack. Well, seven sources. Take, well, six sources against this guy, but one attack against this guy, too. So I take damage seven times. Yeah, but that, uh, I think that kills the guy even with full hit points and everything. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Crushes him like a bug. Oof. And those crits are actually crits, I checked. Yeah, Old and 20s. you take you take seven sources of the damage. Uh -huh. Thanks. Oh wait, oh well, that's wrong. <laughs> that's not that's not what it does. That would be kind of different. 
That's what it does. One, One two, two, three. It's <laughs> <laughs> a normal pin pricks. That is fine. Two more. I just, I just imagine Telemann is like his, his 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 snout is like filled with these like long like porcupines <laughs> things like sticking out like ow ow yeah. ow. Right. Serious. Well, let's see. Is anyone else desperately injured? I don't think so. I just took four damage. <laughs> no, like I said, desperately injured, not standardly injured. I don't have banishment, oh. unfortunately. To be fair, I'm missing over 50 hit points. Want well, to just delay, or...? You know what? Sure. You know what? No, not 50 whole hit points. I will fly over here, basically right above his head... <sighs> not again. And, ...and pat him on the head of a healing spell. <laughs> there, there. To be precise, I will pat him on the head with, let's say... Uh, what's the level 4 version? I don't know level 3, actually. To cure Sirius. Have 32 hit points. Thank you. As I pat you on the head. Yeah, as, as Malon says, suddenly something bites Telemannus' tail. It's a Lenorm. And <coughs> text cash. Ah! Go cash, yo cash. That's potential hit. No, she has plus two AC. Oh yeah, she does. Oh, I right. keep anyway. saying it, it's in my label. I can't see that for your man. thing. There we go. If you put it over her... This guy over here and Marcus. Marcus. Hmm? Is Marcus freedom of movement did? No. <laughs> no. Alright, well, he gets I hit am. by one. For 19 damage. I'll try to grapple him, because, you know, that's what they do. 38. That does succeed. Right, he's grappled then. Okay. They're both grappled. 38, your CMD is 39. Oh right, I was. I always look at my flat-footed one. In that case, no. Oh, why did it open active much then? God damn it! <laughs> Take forever. We need now a grapple button. Uh, push to grapple. Yeah. Well, this guy here then. Here and text cash. Oh, that's. Well, There's 25%. Percent. Well, if he does hit with it... It's a miss. Okay. Good. Uh, I was just about to think I could use... It wouldn't be a crit anymore. Sakurai's moves here, and he peers quite uh, intently down the uh, down the tunnel they came from, and also sort of up above in the sky, because he 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 does not want a Linorn to show up. So up he, in the sky, he can see maybe like like 15 feet. From the snow and the sleet. I will make a perception check to 56 to keep look. Uh, and I will Can't spend be. all of my actions this turn just using that 56 to keep look. Um, it's a full round action. I'm devoting my entire attention to this. So it's normally a move action? You're spending like two move actions on it? I am, I mean, I'm it's, it's after moving, so. Yeah. Okay, so I, I'm, yeah. But I'm, I'm, this is what I'm doing. Uh. Looking. So uh, you see a lot of snow and sleet and, and ice and stuff. You don't really see a Lenorn. That's a natural twenty, but whatever. So and, and there's lots of snow and sounds, but I no Lenorn sounds at the moment. Cash. I'll just focus fire and attack uh, number eight. Right. Number ten has less health. I don't think you can hit number eight from there. I can't hit them with my. Also, I'm next to eight. Closer. Well, yeah, that, that's step. what I'm. No, I have my long arm. Oh, yeah, There's you have 15 your long feet arm. Feet. Oh! You have 15 oh, yeah, feet? It's, it's no, I have 10. Yeah. You have to it's 15 feet away. It's, it's diagonal, you know. You could attack this one. He's pretty hard, too. Good, do that. Okay, I'll attack that one. I, I'm, I got just, the... I'm just suggesting things. <laughs> I, got, I, I got the long arm, so I don't have to get uh, hurt. Normally mm -hmm. long arms. Uh, you are checking like for this, so those are now. all hits. Yeah, that's true. Eleven, five, five. I really do like your attack rolls. It's always like ten damage plus thirty-three. Yeah, it's always <laughs> wow. He died. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
can't can't stand for that. Damage uh, reduction is not that high <laughs> and when you're faced with, with 200 I, I something. I want a five foot step. Alright. Marcus? Mm. I think number eight needs to take lots of hits to the face. Mm -hmm. No, I can give him two hits to the face. Alright. For a 30. 30 to No, no, 30 on the first one and then total of 56. Six. From two sources. Tomatoes. Okay, I'll take the extra attack here, and I'll save my bites for now, okay, as well as the extra attack. Since I only have 10 foot reach on my normal attacks, I'm going to use all my normal attacks on number 8. Mm -hmm. uh, hit, 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 hit. All the hits. Uh, 34, 18, 19, 17, that is 151. How many? Oh, whoops. Um, I mean, actually take that. Six attacks. That's still enough. Okay, and then I'm going to shoot two bites at number 10, okay. which have 15 foot range. I don't think your ranged attack is too good. <laughs> well, he's just biting. Head bite. Really long. What's what's it called neck? Before, before, before dead. Uh, number ten. Sorry. All right. Uh, Another ninety-one. Ninety-one. Serious. Well, well, well. This is going. Is you want to do? Or? Or? Mm, I think I'm going to heal myself. And I'm going to move this way. Away from the pit where the linoleum might appear. What are you doing? Moving and healing. All right. Thanks, Marcus. <sighs> wait, wait. Ky Kyra needs to take some damage, doesn't he? Oh, yeah. Uh... From, well, the bites are made with reach, and so were the other attacks. It's natural weapons, though. Natural weapons, okay, so that is eight sources then. Wait. Nope, nope, nope. One. <laughs> One. One. Hmm. Yep. Then this game. You know, even if my buff runs out before the little com comes, this was worth it. <laughs> Makes it quite a lot easier when you have damage reduction. Mm hmm. Cash. So what can you do? Potential hit. Potential hit. I have not rolled. Uh, yeah. Well, I'm. I'm thankful. Right. Yeah. I'm very sometimes you're invisible. Sometimes you're. Uh. Well. Um. So I as well move a little bit over here. Uh, he'll steep key, uh, still keep an eye out. He will prepare to cast a spell if the Lenorm shows up. What spell? Well, uh, he will prepare to cast... Magic. Waves of Exhaustion on the Lenorm. When it comes within reach? Yes. Yeah. Alright. Cash? Um, just, just... Well, I can hit the guy up by Marcus. Let's do that. Uh, all the hits. All the hits. Say 12 plus 43, 12 plus 30, 13 plus 36, 12 plus 31, the crit confirms. 200 exactly. For four sources? Four sources. Alright. <laughs> He's very close to death. Marcus. Go get him, Marcus. 
I'll go get them in your... Oh, uh, five percent. I believe it. Go get her. Um... It's a her. Mm. Oh, Marcus is such a good guy. Telemonis is a her? Ah, no, the... the Spoilers. <gasps> Devil. Oh, you want to step here and let them carry over? Or? I was going to make a bonus video for that. Hang on, I can... If, if just 31... Yeah. Uh, kill. Okay, then I can just five foot step down because you can five foot in the middle of an attack. So my shakes yeah. underneath and about this. <gasps> and then that's twenty seven on this guy. Right. And you take. One damage. Damage. All right. Iron. Uh well let's let me just select all my weapons here. My fifteen thousand weapons. But wait, there's more. Oh wait, I did select two bytes, so I'm just missing a telescope, which is not going to do anything. Well, yeah, I just added up the damage, but that should slap, probably that should probably finish him off. The first three will do it. And the rest of the tax shall go to Marcus. Alright. <laughs> For all the indignities he has suffered. Uh, I will just give you the come and, over and, but and take. Range, yeah. How many rounds until the um Lenorm shows up so I can fast heal? There you go. That's some better for you. Eight damage. Oh, that's some good rolls you got there. Yeah. Take that. It's going to do an empty attack to. Well, I mean, they do oh. damage us fifty percent of the time with that. Uh, the, the wind is everywhere, you know. Snow wind. Uh, uh, how much time for fast healing do you think I have? Uh, go by it. Sort of slowly. Depends on what you do, really. So. Yeah. Well, I mean, two of them maxes me, so. Yeah. Looks over here. Pokes. Telemanders with the wand. There's a very fine line between lich touch and wand touch. Mm hmm. Yeah. Telemanders would, like, stick his head down like the entryway and just shout some more like teasing insults challenges in there sounds quiet right now mm. you got 37 hit points like will float up a bit and sort of look up like is the like there no vision like up there you should just miss the reverse gravity. as he flies up you sort of see on top of where the burrow is mm -hmm. there's sort of these standing stones set as a like a Basically a marker of the place. Mm -hmm. Looks very humble, really. It's just the snow just rains down on it. Ice blazing, sort of covering it sides. So Grace floats down again to us and says, It might be that the uh, Linorm has some other entrance out of his... Uh, well, his lair. He, lo he looks at the, the hole they sort of made. Either that, or he has not left this place for quite a while. We might, he sort of looks around, we might look around. Maybe we can find if he has another entrance. Isn't that what you do in your family, Telemundus? Have other entrances to the lair? It would certainly be like him, but he has probably not used any of his entrances in the past decade or so. <laughs> Besides, spending time out here just letting my magic currently active dissipate would not be a good idea. The option is, of course, to charge in there again, where we have wailing banshees and other creatures to fight. We want to try to drive him away from the monolith. Looks at Cash. I'm glad you survived. Oh yeah, you can see her. She, she nods. So, so am I. Um, we could head in again. We could at least 
see what, you know, maybe he's still sticking around, but just too shy to come out. He's too shy? Well, he did yeah. say in here, I am God. So why I, the hell would he go out? I think... Uh, I it's probably very difficult to get, actually get him out. Uh, uh, if we could, could at least fight him away from the Banshees, that would be good enough for me. We want to get him away from the monolith, though, because that infuses him with, like, incredible powers. Yeah, if, if we can no. get him to, like, the, the, like, first tunnel or so. I no. wonder how... Hmm. So, you know, Telemondos would like to head back inside. I... He might actually have gone out a back a back way and is just flying above, like, just waiting to hit, hit us. Well, we can wait, like, two Do minutes, maybe. Do we have to kill him? We no. only have to come here for, like, the loot, uh, basically. So, Grace will, will ask Cash if what she remembers of the... Uh, of the cavern she looked into, like, did she, did, does she remember that there was, like, a, like, a, a cave or an exit or something somewhere? Was there, like, a, like, oh, there's a, a lot of uh, growths in the back there. Can't really see the cave wall. Like, or She did see another path, but she didn't see where it went, though. She did see another path? Yeah, she saw this path, uh, here. Mm. But she didn't see where it went. It likely just goes here, but it might go like this way. Maybe it goes this way too. Well, I, I would suggest we wait like two to three minutes and then head back inside. Because even if we can fight him like here or even down here still. In that case, I would say let's let's take a, a quick like survey of the cairn. See if we actually can see like a back door or something. In two minutes, we should be able to do like a little bit of survey at least. Not just standing here. Two minutes worth of survey. Yeah. Sure. We can fly pretty quickly, like fly up above it, like sc scanning, see if we see any other exits. Yeah. yeah. Right. <sighs> because he, my he's amazing perception check. Because he's probably he's probably going to be watching the same way Cash came from. If we can attack him from behind, even that would be something. Fifty-five. <laughs> That's only forty-eight higher than mine. Sure. Uh, the Cairn is kind of just sort of, uh, you know, very very humble, uh, humble looking. Uh, you do see sort of in the side what has probably once been another entrance. However, something very large has long since collapsed it, and it seems to be reinforced as the walls in the cave with the, uh, the sort of glimmer whatever has been disintegrated inside. Maybe something didn't want to have another entrance. So there is, a, there is only one entrance, that's what you're telling me. Although, there's also, of course, the entrance to the Underdark. So we go through the other entrance to the Underdark that we know of. Uh -huh. Through the Cap Ryer! Exactly. <laughs> Quickly! Or the Dwegar. Two entrance. months later... <laughs> We finally arrived, oh god. <laughs> Litter was not here, it's just left. Just, ugh. Finish whatever it was doing. Yeah, I'm out of here. Uh, I, gu I guess if, if we find nothing else, I guess we have to head back in. Yes, let us. Um, is everyone healed up and ready for a fight if we find anything in there? Yes, sir. Okay. If you say so. Hi. Ooh. Remember to take our stat damage in. Yeah, see, there's another thing I don't want to fight in here because we have stat damage. Yeah. <laughs> well, you lead the but way, Dragon. Yeah, I was waiting for past and stuff. Does Azurius have another Shield of Faith? Uh, yeah, so I'm running out. Oh. Do you like it? Yes, I would. I did ride on your back earlier. You did. Have your shield of faith. Thank you. See, so for today's um, mission, you get all the buffs because I rode on your back. Shield of faith. And oh god. Oh. I mean, if I didn't ride on your back, I would have. I probably would have been eaten because I couldn't run away from the Lunal. Let's move. A weakling. 
Run away! Run away from me! Free! Retreat! Oh good, we get to go back past the guys we didn't kill. Yeah. You think they will attempt it? Probably. Psst. I mean, that would be kind of uh, stupid. The aberrations. Yeah, aberrations are smart. They're, like, obscenely smart. Depends on the aberration. Shall I That's true. No, not that. I think no, he, it might not be smart, but I think he learns. Yeah, he's like a dog. You know, if you kill all a dog's friends, the dog's not going to mess with you. Exactly. Or maybe he will mention That's a bad, you know, analogy, but... Vengeance dog. Yeah. I am the dog of vengeance. Dogs of war has been unleashed. So, we can try to drive him out again. Um, so, he's not around here. Did, he's, there did he benches. seem infused with unholy power when he was in here? Like, would Sakurai oh, think that... Oh, he seems that very powerful. Yeah, yeah, but would he... he like a very dry eel. <laughs> okay. <laughs> see so. Uh, but would Sakurai think that, like... Uh, he's uh, as long as he touches the the yeah. obelisk, he gets power. That's what you were told, at least. Yeah, he might be lying to you. Okay. Who knows? If if we fight him, try to drag him away from the obelisk. Like fight him like here or in these tunnels, oh. because then I can lock him in, so he can't get to the. Could maze and run right past him. I <laughs> yeah, maze him and then just leg it. Like run, just take it and run. <laughs> Uh, yeah, let, that, let us hope that, that might, the might, might work, stupid. actually, yes. <laughs> it's a fun option, right? It might work, yes. <laughs> just like, if you can't defeat the enemy, just make them disappear temporarily. Mm -hmm. And then we steal everything and just run away, and he can be like, what? What happened? <laughs> I was in a maze. I'm not a minotaur. You know what? Let's go this, this way. I, st I still love how minotaurs are immune to a maze, though. Do we hear anything as we move here, Monica? Uh, no. We're not being particularly stealthy this time. Very quiet in here. I am floating above the ground. I don't make any sound. We have a dragon walking across the ground. Clomp, clomp, and clomp, Captain clomp. Clank's a lot. A second. And Captain Clank's a lot. You oh. fly also. Wildly Just... everywhere. But I don't now. I'm not. Just describe to you. There's a room in there. Should. Yeah, Marcus isn't very comfortable. Unless you close your eyes and avert them. <laughs> I shall not see. Uh, what that... seems to be in there seems to be the grave chamber of someone who's most likely uh, what seems to be an I ice elven scholar. There's sort of a, um, a, a, a skeleton laying there. You know, very still very dignified. Apparently haven't been disturbed in, in some robe. There's uh, some hangings and such. Most of it is really sort of broken. Um, there's a little bit of a uh, little bit of uh, gold in there. He seems to have some rings and such in his corpse. And above the corpse actually hangs sort of an iry bluish mist in the vague form of a humanoid. Oh. It sort of looks your way when uh, it's sort of sitting on the edge, seemingly not doing a whole lot. If he's here too, why doesn't he just go down to them? Maybe they don't know. They knew. They said their, their loved one is over here. Maybe they don't know he's a uh Ghost thing. Yeah. But I, I think right now we have bigger problems. Like, right, talk to him. Uh, ask him why. What, uh, what are you doing here? <laughs> Seriously? Uh, uh, Zacharias uh, turns to the person and says, um, we, we seek to slay the linorm that infests the center of this can. I see. The ghastly being sort of floats a little closer. And why is that? He is, uh, well, he is a terror to land, and a nuisance to say the least, and he guards something that we need, a powerful artifact that we help, uh, hope will help us slay one of Hell's most fierce minions. I see. That sounds like a noble goal indeed. <laughs> it's like nods. Tell me you a story. Is, is, um, I would be glad to hear it, and if you share wise words with me, I can share a few with you. Don't you have a token for him? I, I suppose. Like your eyes floats a bit closer. Perhaps we should consider this later. Yes. Would you? The dragon says, a black dragon. Like your eyes nods. He is uh, special. 
A faithful and trusty companion, no doubt. Calamundus can feel his, like, the magic keeping him in this world flickering. So, tell me, uh, what do I call you, even? Just seems to remember this. I was called uh, the Wise, or Wise and Thelus. I was a great scholar in my time. He sort of smiled slightly. I know the law and tales of our people, and is, much of this land. Uh, is he an what I sell for? It seems so. Although his shape is very shaped, so he's sort of very vaguely shaped. Um, Master Anthilus, then. Uh, our quest is quite pressing, I am afraid. We have wards and protections running to try to combat the foulness of the Linorm. If you have anything to impart that could help us, it would be greatly appreciated. Others have come as you, and they have all failed. But they do not care to listen. They are hasty. I am not hasty. I don't see much in my time, and so I can only judge you upon your words. Uh, I mean, we can we can stay and talk to this guy. I mean, potentially we can actually retreat and rest up a day and then take it, come back next day. Well, the, we have to repart the statue at the entrance again, but... Uh, the statues um, are a minor nuisance. Um, I don't think leaving and coming back is the best But if idea. this guy has incredible information to impart... I don't think he does. It seems too easy. It seems way too easy for him to just say, Oh, let me tell you everything. Well, I mean, I, we should, I would take, say we should we, listen to him and, you know... If he has anything he can not. say in the next 30 seconds, that definitely helpful. That would be great. Otherwise, I would say we talk to him later. Even though he said... He's very faint. Even, even though he says, oh, everyone is so hasty and they die horribly. You know, that's a reason for hastiness. It's so we can die horribly faster. <laughs> Zacharias says, I see. My name is Zacharias. We come from far away, the deep south, to be precise. The now kingdom of Talingard. And we have travelled quite far to seek the... Uh, the uh, evil artifact that will once and for all help us destroy our enemy. A uh, once former uh, cardinal of hell itself. I do not know what goes on in the world out there. I have been cut off for so long. I was once used by the ice elves as a guide. I would, the kings would come here once a year and ask for important advice. I knew much that I have now forgotten. I do remember, remember things of this place and the creature that currently lives here. What can you tell us about the powers of the Linorm and the obelisk that he draws it from? Is it's there... very dangerous. The obelisk is uh, empowering him. However, it is also his greatest fear. 